government allocates funds to, for our road constructions in india we don't see the roads getting along for a long time six months eight months we still don't see roads coming on we go and ask government what are you doing they will say you we are working we are working where are they working from end user perspective i am not getting the value similarly whenever any construction projects happen starts or whenever any software project gets started you know every stakeholder say they are working but you know end user doesn't get the product increment for a long time what is happening everybody wants to add value to customer but anybody is understanding what is value to the customer that is exactly is value stream mapping method helps here i am going to introduce value stream mapping method in this episode it is one of the important uh, tenet of lean methodology value stream mapping method asks us first define what the value of the customer is looking in a product the value is most related with the customer satisfaction so the here i have taken an example of a indian banking system in 1980s in 1980 if we have to withdraw cash okay what is the process a, a customer has so was supposed to go through okay the as is process was we have to go to bank it takes 20 minutes and then we go to the bank we fill in this is my account number this is can you please withdraw the cash and you request it and sign it and then again you wait in the queue for about 20 minutes and uh, because you wanted a management bank manager to verify your application saying that yes he is a valid account holder he has the necessary balance his request of withdrawing ca cash can be processed so like this he verifies let's say it takes 5 minutes and then again after that he provides a token to us then with that token we have to wait in teller's queue so let's assume that on an average 10 minutes we is uh we stand in the queue we go back to the teller and when a turn comes to us so 2 minutes of time uh, he teller processes our cash and he hands over the cash to us so look at this entire value chain so 20 minutes plus 3 minutes plus 20 minutes plus 5 minutes plus 10 minutes plus 2 minutes is coming along to 16 minutes so we are standing in 60 minutes and the value we are looking is withdrawing the cash it just not withdrawing the cash it's also about the amount of time i have to wait in the whole process of 60 minutes okay what is the value at time for me the value at time is filling in the cash withdrawal form and the bank manager verifying our account holder details and bank balance details and approving our request to process and then teller giving the money back to our hand so out of 60 minutes we are basically have 3 plus 5 plus 2 which is around 10 minutes so 10 minutes is value at time for me and 60 minutes is the total cycle time so what is the process cycle efficiency it is basically the value at time by total cycle time which is 10 minutes by 60 minutes which is 1 by 6 which is 66 point 16 point 67 percent so close with 17 percent 17 percent now now what is a to be process banks thought you know with the existing process we can't scale population is growing banking sector is growing consumer sector is growing we can't just wait with this we can't scale with this process so they actually came out with out of box thinking they basically identified the non value non value add steps and they came out with out of box thinking leverage technology is with atm any time machine so we, now with this new process we can actually reach to nearest atm within approximately 5 minutes so they cut down 20 minutes to 5 minutes the cycle time got reduced and then probably with all possibilities you know we may have to wait for 2 minutes in any of the nearest atm so certain times we may go through straight away but certain times we may have to wait for 2 minutes and then we need to do the cash so the cash withdrawal process probably may take 2 to 3 minutes so i just took indian condition so in the two week process by leveraging out of box thinking like any time machine they have cut down the process total cycle time to 5 minutes plus 2 minutes plus 3 minutes which is coming down to 10 minutes look at the how much time got cut down 60 minutes time to uh 10 minutes time that's exactly lean is all about lean is all about 
reducing the total cycle time either by reducing the long value add steps this like this or come out with out of box thinking okay here we reduce the total cycle time to 10 minutes what is the value add time in this process value add time is withdrawing the cash of 3 minutes so 3 minutes out of the 10 minutes is coming down to 30 percent so the process efficiency value add time by total value add time is coming to 30 percent in the new process so the cycle total cycle time got reduced from 16 minutes to 10 minutes the process efficiency got improved from 17% to 30%. Now you can ask me, still there is an opportunity to improve. Yes, that is where there is an opportunity to improve. So what banks thought is they came up with net banking facility. They partnered with multiple shops or multiple vendors or multiple partners wherein people don't have the necessity to withdraw the cash. They can pay using online. So they, they came up with such methods as well. So my dear friends, in your context also, there's an opportunity to improve the flow. You can improve the flow only when you can actually focus on value add steps. When you say value add steps, the value in terms of from the perspective of the end customer. Okay, it's end customer satisfaction is the goal. Okay, keeping that in mind, you can actually do a lot of miracles in your own context. Whether you are in construction engineering, automobile engineering, software engineering, you can do difference. Only thing you, that you need to know is you have to ask the people on the ground to design what is as is process. Because the leaders, they can actually tell you what is supposed to be process. But what is actually happening, the people on the ground can actually tell. Okay, so we basically, when the people on the ground draws as is process, now, we can actually figure out some areas, like first thing is partially dead work. There will be a product that is built but not tested, waiting for testing. So, I can't ship it to the customer. So, partially dead work may be some pocket of non-value add work for us. Similarly, extra work, unnecessary approvals. We all know that, that approval is not actually adding value, but we somehow don't question it. We, follow, we tend to follow the status quo. So, because of which we, we actually tend to lose some time. And third thing, extra features. Out of intuition, we think these features are required for customers. But you know, customers may not value it. Customer says, please give me the bare minimum product. I have been waiting. Give me what I want. Then we can look about extra features. So, out of intuition, people tend to think on the ground extra features. And in the process, you may actually waste time. The next thing is task switching. You may see people who are 30% allocated to project A, 40% allocated to project B, 10% allocated to some initiative C. So in this process of switching between one project to another project, we may tend to lose time. And then waiting, you know, waiting for the review feedback, we may lose time. Okay, certain times you may see internal reviews, external reviews, we may tend to lose time in this process. The other pocket is handoffs. When product is flowing from one component to other component, the handoff happens. When the handoff happens, then knowledge transfer has to happen properly. So in this process, we may tend to lose time. And ultimately, distributed teams. In distributed teams also, because people are not connected, we can't leverage face-to-face -face communication, we may tend to lose time. And next thing is defects. Obviously, defects actually relate to uh, you know, it takes away a uh, good amount of time and uh, so these are the possible areas actually you can think using these levers you can think you know in your respective uh, stream value stream wherever you are delivering ask the team on the ground to basically draw what is as is process and understand what value you are actually delivering to the customer make sure that this value makes sense and you understand both intrinsic and extrinsic value characteristics there. Keeping that in mind, you please vet each of the activities whether it is adding value or not. And using the, the sales levers that I have uh, I've suggested, you can actually think about, you know, how can I optimize my process? Certain times you may think of out-of-box solutions. Using this process, definitely you can add value to your respective project. Optimizing the flow and making sure the flow happens and making sure that what customer gets what he wants is what we have to look for. I'm sure you can also
do difference in your respective projects using the most used simple tenant of lean is called value steam mapping method. So using this case in study, I have explained to you as is process to be process, process efficiency and some pockets on areas of thinking how you can optimize your flow.